today's episode, I get passed by a garbage truck. I twist my wrist. And I say, I was wrong. Yeah, I, I was wrong. Greetings and salutations, your average rider here. A little over a month ago, I took my 2020 Volkswagen GLI in for an APR, let me get this right, APR stage one, low torque, 91 octane engine tune. And here are my initial impressions. Initial impressions are the car is quite a bit more responsive, but I haven't really pushed it or um, given it any heavy throttle whatsoever, but I, I definitely noticed a difference just off the hop, even without getting to highway speeds and whatnot. I would say right now, just cruising in economy mode, I'm getting a little bit better fuel mileage than I did uh, without the two, so that's a plus. I'll be getting on the freeway soon, so I'm going to switch it over to sport mode. Just going to give myself some room with the car in front of me. Shift down two gears. Fourth gear now. 2000 RPM. Rolls on. Slow. Pulls hard. Wants to pull harder. We drop it down to third gear and she wants to go. Well, I'm going legal speeds now and I know this is a busy road for police officers so I'm just going to set cruise so I don't get into any trouble here and I'll see if I can test a little bit later. So to be completely honest, I'll state that I'm not sure it pulls that much harder. If I didn't know, like let's say somebody hopped in this car, drove it before and hopped in it now and drove it. I'm not sure they could tell anything was, was done to it. It's still a very docile uh, vehicle it, <clears throat> when you want it to be. It had plenty of power before, I feel, my personal opinion. I guess the real test will be when I do the 50 to 100 kilometers an hour uh, acceleration with the GPS so that I can compare that time to what it was pre-engine tune and, and see if there's any uh, difference there. I expect there will be, but yeah, I don't know if I'm really expecting too much at this point in time. I don't have the GPS remote control right now, so I can't track uh, speed like I did with my previous acceleration test, but I'm going to go out to the country right now and do a quick uh, 50 to 100 kilometers uh, just in second gear and see if I notice anything uh, a jump there, just just seat of the pants, a horsepower improvement maybe, we'll, we'll see. But yeah, it's a, I guess maybe I had, my expectations were a little bit higher as everybody who has done this engine tune previously said this is how the car should have come from the factory in the first place and yeah, I won't disagree, I'm just not necessarily noticing any improvement at this point in time over the factory as well. Yeah, driving the same roads as the same at the same speeds as I did previously. Oh, 
photo radar trap, look at that. As I was saying, driving the same roads at the same speeds I would previously, I'm absolutely in the same in the same gear, and I understand that uh, you know that's not going to change. But when I did tune my motorcycle, I did notice that I had more usable power at a lower RPM. I can't say I'm quite noticing that, but then again, maybe I am comparing the car to the motorcycle and that's completely not fair whatsoever. So I want to expand a little on this. Earlier I mentioned that some have stated that they could tell right away that there was more horsepower to the car, that there was a big difference. This is, as I said, this is how the car should have come from the factory in the, in the first place. I wonder if those were done on DSG cars with the automatic transmission and they had the DSG transmission tune done at the exact same time because I have no doubt that the DSG tune uh, changes the shift points to keep the engine in more of its power band all the time and while the engine will still have the same uh, horsepower as the manual transmission car it doesn't have to build boost each time you change gears like the manual transmission cars do. And when comparing to my motorcycle, I did a full stage one on my Triumph Bonneville T100. That was air intake, exhaust, and engine tune. And what I noticed right away was that the usable power range dropped from about 3,000 RPMs down to about 2,500 RPMs, meaning I no longer needed to shift near as often. Now, I'm not seeing the same 500 RPM difference in the car, but this is completely an unfair comparison. A, the motorcycle's red line was about 8,500 RPMs after the tune, where the car is only 6,500 RPMs, and B, more importantly, while cruising at highway speeds in top gear on the motorcycle, I was about 4,200 RPMs, but in the car, I'm only about 2,100 RPMs. So I do believe, though, that I'm seeing about the 150 to 200 RPM difference so while I'm on the same roads, in the same gear, going the same speed, I am noticing an increase in fuel economy, and that has been the benefit of this power band uh, drop. That is assuming I can fight the urge to step on the app pedal too hard. Now back to my initial impressions. All right, that's plenty of space now. I'll just wait for this car ahead of me to pass me. You know what? Doesn't matter. Second gear, 50 kilometers an hour, punch it. Oh my goodness, okay, maybe I was wrong. Uh, that was noticeable. That was at least twice as quick as it was previously. It might have even been fighting for traction, first accelerating. Yeah, it definitely did not do that before. Yeah, I, I was wrong. This is this is great. I'm gonna turn around up here and, and try that again. But yeah, like I said, the real test will be getting the GPS on there for uh, for for timing and actual speed off the GPS. Okay, this is good. Once again, nobody behind me. Light will turn. I will work my way up to 50 kilometers an hour in second gear and then I'll punch it. Okay, 50 in cruising at probably 2800 RPMs. Holding, holding, floor it. Oh, yeah, there's some throwback right there. And 104, just like that. Yeah, okay. That was impressive. Not like the leg there was previously. Yeah, this is this will be fun. <laughs> I was wrong. This will be fun. So for these tests, I will be using the Insta 361R camera along with the GPS remote. So the speed you see in the bottom 
left-hand corner is coming from the remote itself, meaning no matter which vehicle I do a speed run in, this with the speed coming from the GPS remote camera, that's always going to be a constant. I did a video, which you can see up here, of the GPS remote along with a few other Insta360 1R accessories. Now for the speed runs. Now let's talk about those results. It's clear that the boost builds so much faster. There's still turbo lag, but it's much less. In my examples, the car has gone from 5.37 seconds to 3.82 seconds. That's a full second and a half faster or 40% faster. I understand that this is just one metric, but that's significant. VW claims 228 horsepower and 258 pounds feet of torque. For the stage one low torque 91 octane tune, APR claims 323 horsepower and 326 pound feet of torque. As a combined metric, I calculate approximately a 33% increase. And without putting the car on a dyno, which I eventually plan on doing, I totally believe these claims. If you look at other modifications, exhaust intake, whatnot, I do not believe there is a single better bang for your buck modification you can do for your car than a stage one tune. Now, I will provide an update in about a year's time to let you know how it's been uh, operating on my car. But of course, if any issues arrive before that, I will let you all know. Stay till the end of this video to watch a few motorcycle acceleration polls. Well, that's it for this one. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.